Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and today we are going to do some empties. Now I actually don't have as many empties as I usually have, but I definitely had enough to almost fill up my basket this month. So I thought I might as well film an empties video today. And before we get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And if you like empties videos, I would really appreciate you give this video a thumbs up. But now let's get into all of my empties. So up first, as usual, are all of my family's different hand soaps that we've gone through over the last month or so. We've gone through one, two, three, four, five different hand soaps. Four of them are from Bath and Body Works as usual, but I do have one little random one here. This one is from Seventh Generation, and this is the Mandarin and Orange Great or Mandarin Orange and Grapefruit uh, hand soap. I had this in my kitchen and it worked pretty well. And then, like I said, all the other ones are from Bath and Body Works. Here's another like lemon flavored one or citrus flavored one. This was the lemon grapefruit. I just love lemon flavored soaps or lemon uh, citrus scented soaps. I think they're amazing. Um, they just smell so clean to me. I really enjoy using those. Then this one was Catch a Wave, and then here we've got Summer, or Shades of Summer, and then lastly we've got the Raspberry Rosé scent. Now moving on to some random stuff, here is a bag of cotton puffs. I buy these on Amazon and they take forever to ship because I believe they ship uh, directly from Japan, but they are so worth it. They're just like the Shiseido ones that you can buy from uh, from Sephora, but they're way cheaper. Uh, you just gotta order them in advance of when you're gonna need them, so just keep that in mind. But I absolutely love those. I uh, actually need to order another uh, bag, I think, because I'm running low. And then here I've got some natural deodorant. This was the Schmitz natural deodorant in the lavender and sage scent. Uh, last year, or maybe even two years ago I got a little sample of this from the Allure Beauty Box and it was just in a little um, just in a little tub so I had to use my fingers to apply it. I have since come out with a more traditional style deodorant and I really really like this. You can actually buy this at Target um, and I actually repurchased once I was done with this. As I was using this though the tube did get a little bit messy with the product. It just kind of collected right along here right along the edge um, where the uh, actual tube meets the cap which was kind of gross looking but you can just easily wipe that off and I think this stuff works really really, really well for a natural deodorant. Um, like I said, I did repurchase. It doesn't give me any irritation. I know some people have issues with um, with these kind of deodorants. This one has some baking soda in it, but I've never had any kind of uh, adverse reaction to it or anything. I really, really like this product. Now, if I know that I'm going to be sweating a lot, you know, doing some yard work or housework or just, you know, just being very, very active, I won't use this. I will go ahead and just use a regular deodorant. But for everyday use, if I'm just going to be running to Target, dropping my kid off at school or something, this works absolutely perfect. And here are two boxes of my contact lenses. These are the Cooper Vision Avaria Toric lenses. I go back and forth as to whether I like these or not, but this is what I have. It's the only prescription that I have for contacts right now, so I have no choice but to use them if I want to wear my contacts, um, which I haven't been doing a whole lot since uh, about the beginning of the year. I definitely wear my glasses more than I wear my contacts, um, but for filming purposes, it's just way easier for me to wear contacts. Um, but like I said, I go back and forth as to whether I like these or not. Um, sometimes they get a little bit foggy on me. Um, even when I first just put them in, they get a little bit foggy. I don't think the prescription is, is off, so it's not bad. It's just the actual lens can get a little foggy on me, which is a little weird. So I think next time I go to the eye doctor, I will request a different brand. Uh, but I do have two more boxes that I got to get through, and I can't go to the eye doctor, I don't think, until December. So I'm going to be kind of using those sparingly since they're just two-week lenses. And I've got my glasses to tie me over until I can get a new prescription. And here is a little fortune cookie soap whipped cream body butter. This one um, was from their spring box. This is the Bonjour scent. Um, it was a Beauty and the Beast themed box and I, you know I liked the scent on this. I just didn't like it for a body cream. It was a citrus, very, very strong lemon scent, which as I just mentioned, I do really enjoy usually, but I just thought this was a strange scent for a, a body cream. It just smelled very, um, gosh, how should I even describe it? Like very, um, I don't know, it just kind of smelled like more of a cleanser than a moisturizer, and it smelled very drying. I guess, does that make any sense? I don't know. It was just a very strange scent to me. The uh, actual product itself worked absolutely fine. I had no problem with that. I just thought that the scent on this one was a little strange. Now moving on to all of my skincare empties. First one here is from Garnier. This is the Micellar Cleansing Water, the one with the pink cap. I really, really like this stuff. I know most people say that they like the one with the blue cap better, but I like the pink one. I do have another bottle that I'm working through now, um, so I definitely would repurchase that again. I think it works really, really well. Um, and then I've got two different moisturizers here. This is the one that I went through. This one is the L'Oreal Revitalift Volume Filler Moisturizer. I got this last year in an, uh, in an influencer box, and it took me quite a while 
to get through. I got, I think, four different products from this line, and this out of all of them was probably my least favorite. It's not that this one was bad, I just like the other products quite a bit better. This one was a pretty heavy cream, so I think I used this mostly as a night moisturizer. Then this one here is from Pure Adore. This is their Argan Oil Organic Face Cream. I had used maybe a quarter of this, and I actually did get this sent to me free from Pure Adore, and I did like the product, but I had put it away to use some other different things, and my husband, as you guys know, he always comes and asks me for different moisturizers. So I gave him this one to try out. I thought this maybe would be good for his ultra-sensitive skin, and it was pretty good. He was able to use the entire thing, um, and his face wasn't too bad. Um, I think he liked the um, the Clinique Moisture Surge. I think that one, um, as of uh, recently, has been his absolute favorite. That one worked really, really well for his super sensitive skin. But this one didn't seem to do anything bad to his skin. I just don't think it improved his skin as much as the Clinique one did. Then here I've got two SPF products. The first one here is from Shiseido. This is the Ultimate Sun Protection Cream with Broad Spectrum SPF 50. This is a really, really nice heavy duty SPF if you know you're going to be outside for a really long time. However, it definitely leaves a white cast and it does take a while to rub into your skin, so just keep that in mind. But if you're looking for a really strong SPF, this could be a good one to check out. And then here's one from Murad. I've gone through quite a few of these. This is the Invisibler Perfecting Shield. This is more of like a silicone-based uh, SPF and I do really like that product as well. And then here is a little eye cream that I got from Dermalogica. This is their Total Eye Care with SPF 15. Finally, I found a good eye cream with SPF in it. I wish this was a little bit stronger of an SPF than SPF 15, but 15 is better than nothing, I suppose. And this is just a little sample size. This is not the full size product, but I did like this cream, so I'm definitely considering purchasing a full size of that. Um, and then I've got a couple of uh, other little samples here. The first one is from Pharmacy, and this is their I Do Total Eye Cream. It's been a while since I used this, so I honestly don't remember what I thought about it. And then here is something from Super Goop, and you guys know I'm not the hugest fan of Super Goop, at least of the products, the one product that I've tried from them, which is the, uh, which is their makeup setting spray. I don't like that very much. But I was willing to give them another chance and try something else from the line. This is the City Sunscreen Serum with uh, vitamins E and B, broad spectrum SPF 30. And I thought this was pretty good, actually. I didn't have any problems using it. It didn't sting my face like their spray does, so I was pleasantly surprised about that. Um, and then I've got two little uh, masks from Walmart. Uh, we were in Walmart the other day and they have this uh, cute little display of a whole bunch of different masks. And I think it's uh, two for five bucks. So these were pretty inexpensive. Um, and both of these are from the brand So AE. I think it's how you pronounce it. I think it's a uh, Korean brand. And this is their charcoal clay bubble mask. And I actually did this one last weekend with my husband. Um, and I thought this one was a really, really fun mask. It did definitely bubble up on our skin. My husband hated it. He thought it was super itchy and he really just hated the way that the bubbles felt on his skin. I thought it was kind of soothing and kind of nice and relaxing. Um, I don't think this like did anything bad to his skin though. Like I said, he does have really sensitive skin. He just didn't like how it felt. And then the other one that I have here is the My Collagen Hydro Lip Patch. I actually posted a picture of this on my Instagram because it's just really funny um, having this big, huge um, lip mask on my face. And my son thought this was the funniest thing ever, so he really wants to try this now too. He's only five, but he thought this was so fun, so I'm gonna have to go and get him one too. Now let's talk about all the different hair care products that I've gone through in the last month or so. This first one is a little interesting. This is from L'Oreal, and this is the Extraordinary Clay Clay Mask Pre-Shampoo Treatment. Now I did get this sent to me from Influencer, uh, but I really did like this stuff, I think. I think in my last empties, I went through the uh, shampoo and conditioner that go along with this line, but this took me a little bit longer to get through. And what you do with it, it's kind of like a clay uh, mask that you would put on your face. It's got that similar kind of slimy, thick texture, and you just kind of put it through your hair, just kind of concentrate it on your roots and let it sit for about five or ten minutes before you get in the shower and then you get in the shower and you rinse it out before you shampoo. It's supposed to help out any oiliness that you might have on your roots and I think it actually really does work. I was pleasantly surprised about this and it has a really distinct interesting scent to it that I really kind of enjoyed. Um, so I'm not going to purchase this right now. I don't think I really need it where my hair is right now being three months postpartum. In the future if I notice that my hair is really oily at the roots I'm definitely going to pick some more of that up because I do think it worked pretty good. Then here's a bottle of shampoo. This is from OGX. This is the Thick and Full Biotin and Collagen Shampoo. 
it was just fine. It's been a while since I've used this one. I don't exactly remember that it did anything amazing to my hair, but it didn't hurt it either. Um, and then here is some dry shampoo from Batiste. This is the uh, with a hint of color, the Divine Dark kind. Um, and I really like this one. I just love Batiste dry shampoo. I think, it, I think it does a really good job. I love that it's colored because my hair is so dark so it doesn't leave that white cast that I gotta, you know, make sure that I uh, brush it out all the way. It just works really, really well for me. And then I've got four different conditioners to go through. And at some point, a couple of weeks ago, I was like completely out of conditioner. And I don't think that's ever happened to me in the last five years. Um, so I was actually able to find this little guy in my little um, travel size box. And this is from L'Oreal. This is the color Vibrancy Nourishing Conditioner. Um, I don't color my hair, so I think that's why this was just kind of tucked away. Um, but I was very happy that I found something in my collection because I was, like I said, completely out of any other kind of uh, conditioner. Um, so, eh, it was okay. It did the job when I absolutely needed it to, but I would never repurchase that. Um, and then here's another little travel size. I got this in an influencer box. This is the Eva NYC Therapy Hair Session, or Therapy Session Hair Mask, and I've actually gone through a couple of full size of this before as well. I really don't like the scent on this. I think the actual like moisturizing properties are pretty good for my hair, but just as a scent, I really, really don't care for it. It's kind of florally and I don't know, it's just not something that I really, really like, so I would not repurchase that. Um, but this one I would definitely consider repurchasing, and I went through this big, huge thing. This is the 25 ounce uh, version of this shampoo from Dove. This is the Winter Therapy Conditioner, and this is just marketed as a regular conditioner, not a deep conditioner, which is typically what I like to use on my hair as opposed to a regular conditioner, but this was super thick and super moisturizing. I felt like it acted a lot like a deep conditioner, which I really appreciated because like I said, that's what I use on my hair a lot of times. Um, so I really, really like that. I definitely would consider purchasing that again. And then here's the last one. This is from It's a 10, and I've been eyeing this for a really long time. I've heard about this brand forever, and I never tried anything from them, I don't think. So I finally took the plunge and bought this guy. I think this was like 20 bucks on its own. This is the Miracle Deep Conditioner Plus Keratin, and you only get five ounces for the 20 bucks so it's pretty expensive I think I just picked this up at Target and I got through it so fast like you needed to use a lot of product um, every time I guess I mean my hair is super long so that's probably why um, this really didn't last me hardly any time at all and I didn't think it was that great. I mean, this Dove stuff, which I think this whole thing maybe cost me five bucks for the 25 ounces, it was really inexpensive and it did a great job. Um, so I think between the two, I would definitely go for the Dove over this. And last up for my hair care stuff, I've got a couple of styling products. This first one, I've had this for a long time in my collection. I just never thought to use it. It is from the brand called Black and it is their 15 in one miracle hair treatment. I caught this in some random like Amazon sample box a while ago. And like I said, I never thought to use it, but I just pulled it out, and you guys, this stuff is awesome. I really, really liked what it did to my hair. It was very smoothing, and it just gave my hair a really nice texture. So I really need to look into uh, getting some more of this because I thought it was really great. And of course, because this little sample is so small, it really didn't last me a long time, and I was super sad when it was gone, but I really, really enjoyed that. And then here is uh, something from Bumble and Bumble. This is the BB Don't Blow It Air Styler. I've gone through a few of these in the past and I do really like that because I do typically just let my hair air dry. I hardly ever use a blow dryer on it. Uh, and then the last thing I have is from Pantene. This is their BB cream for hair. I know it's kind of a weird name, um, but I do think this is a really nice uh, all-purpose hair styler. And then finally, I've got all of my empty perfume and makeup. And as usual, I will have prices of all of my empty makeup down in the description box below because I'm trying to keep track of how much makeup I use up this year. So if you're interested, you can check the description box below to see how much makeup I've used up this year. But let me first go through the two little perfume samples that I finished off this month. The first one was uh, Daisy Dream from Marc Jacobs. I do really like that perfume. I thought that smelled really nice. And then this one is the Prada Candy Kiss. I think I like the original Prada Candy better than the Prada Candy Kiss, but I use that one up. Um, and then, all right, now moving on to my makeup. I have a couple of different makeup removers. Here's a little mini sample from MAC. This is the Cleanse Off Oil, and I thought this did a really, really good job of cleansing off my makeup, so I did really enjoy using that little sample, and these little jars are just so cute. Um, and then I've got these little guys from Sephora. I think I had a couple of these in my uh, last month empties as well. I've got a few of these little samples. Um, these are the Sephora Express Eye Makeup Removing Wipes, and I think these do a really good job as well. I don't know that you can actually buy these, though. I 
I think I tried to look these up on their website and I wasn't able to find them. They might be on there and I maybe just missed them, but I couldn't find them. And then here's a ratty old miracle complexion sponge from Real Techniques. I really like these. They do kind of tend to get like broken up. I don't know if you can see that, but they do kind of start to fall apart a little bit. In general, that doesn't really bother me. I don't think it really hinders the performance of the sponge too much. This one was just getting old, so it's time to toss that one and use a new one. Um, all right, now into the actual makeup. The first thing I've got here is a little sample of a primer. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Pretty sure I got this in a Sephora Play. This was too glowy for me to use on its own. I actually just finished it up tonight when I was uh, make, doing my makeup for this video. So I did use the last little bit in here and I paired it with the uh, Laura Mercier primer. I've been doing that every so often over the summer here and together those are okay, but I cannot wear this one on its own. So I'm pretty happy that that one's gone out of my collection and I would not repurchase. Then here's a mascara. This one is the Smashbox X-Rated Mascara. I talked about this in a recent video of mine, how I just didn't think it lived up to the name. It's called X-Rated Mascara, so I thought it was going to give me super va va voom lashes, and it's really just a more natural mascara. So I was very confused about that. I would not repurchase. I definitely don't need to repurchase any mascara. I've got a huge collection still. And it's not that this was a bad mascara. It was perfect for everyday use, and it didn't flake on me, so it lasted a really long time. Um, I don't know. I just thought the name was, a, was strange on that one. Um, and then here's a little eyeliner. This was from uh, Sephora Play. This is from the Sephora brand and it was a purple color. Um, there's a little swatch of it. So I can still kind of uh, get a little bit of product out, but it's just so awkward to hold because it's so teeny tiny right now. Um, so I'm going to call it quits on that. I don't remember the color, but like I said, it's like a dark purple. Then here's one of my all-time favorite brow products that I hear nobody talking about. I don't know why. You guys need to go pick this up because it's amazing. This is from Maybelline. This is the Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. I did go ahead and repurchase this because it's amazing. It just fills in my brows so fast, so easily. Uh, when I don't want to spend time actually using a pencil or a pomade or anything, if I just need to put something on really fast, this is perfect. And I use the shade in medium brown, and it does have kind of a weird wand. It's not the one with the ball that everyone hated a couple of years ago, uh, but that's what this one looks like, and it's just super easy to brush through my brows. And the fibers that are in here actually attach to my brows, because I feel like a lot of different brow gels out there that say that they have fibers in them don't really do much. I don't really notice any fibers being put onto my brows. But with this one, I definitely do. You can tell that they're a lot more volumized. It's amazing. I could go on and on about this product. I really, really love it. Then just two more products left. I was finally able to finish off my cargo bronzer that I've been working on for quite a while now. If I can get this open to show you. Um, all right, there it is. There was a blush on the top here that I took out. So the uh, bronzer was just in this bottom pan. This was just in the color medium. Like I said, this is from the color or from the brand Cargo. I'm pretty sure I got this in an Allure Beauty box. And this was a shimmery bronzer, but I did like the color of it a lot. So I had no problem using that. And then the very last thing that I've got this month is from Tarte. And this is their uh, smooth operator. Amazonian clay pressed powder. This was a little sample I got from Sephora like last year, I think. Uh, and this actually went really, really fast. It was not very firmly pressed, but I thought this was a pretty good setting powder, so I had no problem using that up. And then there you go. That's all of my empties for the month. So thank you guys so much for watching today and for hanging out with me for a little bit. Again, I would really love it if you would subscribe to my channel. We can also connect on Instagram. I will have that link listed down in the description box below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!